Welcome back to another Pine hosting tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to add simple voice chat to your Minecraft server. To start off, log into your game panel and select the server you want to work on. Then head over to your versions tab. Here, you'll be able to see the current game version your server is using. Simple voice chat, however, works only with Forge, Fabric, Quilt, Spigot, Paper, Bucket, Velocity, and Bungee Cord. So make sure your server has the latest version for whichever one you choose to go with. We will be going with Forge for this video, but if you haven't already installed a version, go ahead and click on your preferred option and select the latest version available. We're gonna be going with 1.21.9, so we're gonna go ahead and wipe the server files and accept the EULA. Wiping the server files can be a tricky part because if you're not sure that you wanna wipe your server files, make sure to make a backup prior to making this installation. We're gonna go ahead and click on the installation button and let the server fetch all those files for us. And then we're gonna head back to our console tab and start our server. The next step is actually downloading the simple voice chat mod to your PC. We will have a link of the official mod download page in the description below. Once you're on the official download page, scroll down all the way where it will say downloads. This is all the downloads options available for this mod. We're gonna be going with Forge as we're using Forge as our mod loader for the server, but feel free to use any other option you prefer best. So when you're here, you're gonna need to see which version is compatible with your game version. We're using Forge 1.21.9, so we're not actually going to be using the latest version, but the one before that one, which is actually compatible with our server's game version. We're going to go ahead and download that file. Once that file is now downloaded, head over to your Files tab and then into the Mods folder. Now you will need to drag the file we just downloaded into this folder to upload it to our panel. Once that is uploaded, head over to your console tab and restart your server. Once your server is done booting up, take a look at the top right corner under server information where you will find your server's IP address. We only need this part of the IP address. This is your server's port. Simple voice chat requires a server port connection in order to work and this is your server's port so it's already being used. However, all Pine hosting servers come with three ports available so if your server's port is in this case 25520, the next available will be 25 251 and 25522. So we will be assigning one of those two available ports so a simple voice that can actually work. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this part of the IP address and head over to our files tab. Then head over to the config file and then voice chat folder where you will find the voice chat server properties. Click on that and inside you will see the first line has the port. We will be replacing this value with our port that we copied earlier and changing the last number to plus one so it uses an available port instead. Then we go ahead and save content so all our changes are actually saved and then go back to your console and restart your server for the last time. It is important to know that depending on what version you have on your server, like for example if you got Spigot installed instead of Forge, you will have a plugins folder instead and not a mods folder. So you will need to upload the file you just downloaded into the plugins folder instead. Once that is uploaded, you will have to go ahead and restart your server one more time. Now we will head back into the files tab and then back into the plugins folder. Now, if you click on voice chat, you will see that the voice chat server properties is actually inside the plugins folder. So just click on this again and change the IP address to the IP we previously used for the Forge version as well. So 25521 and then click on save content. And finally, head back over to your console tab and restart your server for the last time again. So this is pretty much the only difference you would have between a Forge server and a Spigot or Velocity or Bungee Cord or Paper server regarding installation. Once your server has finished booting up, you can actually check that voice chat works by looking at your console. It will clearly say that voice chat server is started with the port you actually assigned to it. So that means the actual voice chat plugin works. And that's it. If you need any further assistance, feel free to reach out to our support team. We're always happy to help. 